And welcome back to another High Performance Vet Pro Touchcast and Podcast. This is Ryan Smith, and this week we discuss sleep, and more specifically, what are the best sleep supplements to help you get a good quality night's sleep. Be back in a moment to talk a little bit more about that. High Performance Vet Pro Radio. Welcome to High Performance Vet Pro Radio. Here, you will learn everything you need to know to become a high-performance veterinary professional. We will focus on optimizing your sleep, fitness, nutrition, mental performance, stress response, and work-life balance. Please enjoy these professional interviews with cutting-edge content from Dr. Jennifer Quammen and human performance coach Ryan Smith from HighPerfLiving.com. And welcome back to another High Performance Vet Pro Touchcast and Podcast. And this week as we dive into sleep, we actually have the question, what are the best sleep supplements? And we get this question a lot, whether it be from followers or actually from our clients themselves, and they're asking, why would I not just take some type of sleep supplement that's going to help me get a better night's sleep? If I'm having trouble sleeping, why wouldn't I just take that instead of going through the whole hassle of setting up my bedroom, making all these changes in my life, when I can just take something. And if you really think about it, a sleep supplement is just that. It is a supplement. It's for those rare occasions where you're having trouble getting to sleep. It may be once a week or maybe once a month where there's just been things that are going on in your life that your brain is really kind of on fire and you're racing and you need a little, little something that's going to help you settle down for the evening and that's where a sleep supplement can come in also comes into play a lot of times with jet lag or travel you need to have just that little extra that's going to help you get a good quality night's sleep so the first thing that we want to talk about that we recommend as a sleep supplement is magnesium citrate magnesium citrate comes in a powder and you actually kind of mix it up like a tea we recommend usually around three to four hundred milligrams of magnesium citrate Specifically, the brand we use is Natural Calm, and you can take that about 30 minutes before bed. The one thing you do want to make sure is that you're not taking too much of it too soon because it can cause some GI distress by taking just a higher dose. Ultimately, you can take anywhere between six and 800 milligrams, but you do want to start with a much, much lower dose so that you don't have any issues from that. So from there, your first one is magnesium citrate. It will really help you to relax. Pretty much all of us as Americans are deficient in magnesium. And this is a great way to get a bioavailable magnesium into our system. It will help us to relax a little bit and get through the night a little better as well. Our second one is a teaspoon of raw local honey. Now why raw? Raw is actually able to be used in the liver a little bit easier. It's also going to allow our brain to have the glucose and glycogen that it needs to actually process while we're sleeping. So it's an easier form for our brain to use. It works really, really well when we combine it with our third supplement, and that's actually some type of, of essential fatty acid. So we recommend about a gram of krill oil. Krill oil is easily used by the body. It also gives the brain the fatty acids that it needs to process overnight. So when you give that little bit of glycogen and that little bit of fatty acids, it allows your brain to kind of settle down and you're not, it's not kind of robbing the rest of your body for the supplements that it needs, for the fuels that it needs. So our three recommendations for sleep supplements are magnesium citrate, raw local honey and krill oil or potentially even a MCT uh, oil that would be derived from coconut oil. MCT medium chain triglycerides are able to be converted into ketones very easily and again used by the brain. Now one of the other supplements we get asked about a lot is melatonin and why don't you recommend melatonin? Melatonin is, is a hormone that's in the body that's produced within the body and we actually produce around 300 micrograms of it each day and that is designed to help us sleep. Well, if we're doing things that are actually going to disrupt that by not having a room set up or not having a sleep habit that's going to allow us to promote that, uh, that melatonin production in our body, so we actually kind of run into a little bit of an issue, issue here, so we actually try to take melatonin. 
Well, the most commonly available melatonin that you can get on the market is around three milligrams. And three milligrams compared to the 300 micrograms that we, that we have in the body is tenfold. Well, if my body senses that I have tenfold amount of melatonin, I'm continuously getting in that my body, I'm actually going to reduce the production of melatonin because now I'm dependent upon it to be from an outside source. So I really don't make, need to make it within the body. So then we run into an issue of long-term effects of melatonin, of not producing enough melatonin within ourselves. So that's why we typically don't recommend melatonin. There are times when you can use it. Again, one-off uh, situations, travel, things like that. Potentially, we do recommend the lowest dose that you can get on that, and that would help you a lot. So anyway, that is our uh, supplement recommendation for sleep. If you have any questions, obviously you can shoot us an, an email at life at highperfliving.com. You can uh, respond to this. You can like, comment, and share this video. Be happy to have you ask us any questions. Obviously, all the, uh, the standard social media, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, or Twitter, we're available on all those. Send us a message. We'll be happy to hear what it is that you want to hear from us and what recommendations we can make for you. So until next week, we'll see you real soon. Thank you for joining us at High Performance Vet Pro Radio. We hope to hear from you soon. Like this episode? Leave us a review on iTunes, Stitcher, or SoundCloud. It helps us to reach more veterinary professionals. For more information or to contact us, please visit us at highperfliving.com. Until next time, remember to live every day with intention.